Good day students. Once again we are back in another new virtual digital classroom. This particular education videos are specially meant for the underprivileged loving students of India and abroad. We will discuss CBSE class 10 syllabus poem a Tiger in the Zoo by Leslie Norris. He stalks in his vivid stripes the few steps of his cage on pads of velvet quiet in his quiet rage. He should be lurking in shadow, sliding through long grass near the water hole when plump deer pass. He should be snarling around houses at the jungle's edge, barring his white fangs, his claws, terrorizing the village. But he is locked in a concrete cell, his strength behind bars, stalking the length of his cage, ignoring visitors. He hears the last voice at night, the patrolling cars and stares with his brilliant eyes at the brilliant stars. This is how the poem is. Now let us understand what the poem's central idea is. The poem A Tiger in the Zoo is written by Leslie Norris. In this poem, the poet tries to depict the mental condition of a caged tiger. He compares the life of a tiger in the zoo with its life in its natural habitat. A tiger in the cage is in captivity. Here, the poet conveys an important message that the wild animals should be left in the natural habitat. He heightens the contrast between freedom and captivity. He very impressively shows us how love for freedom is the natural instinct of every living being. Now some of the important words meaning that you should know to understand this poem much better. In the first stanza, stalks means strive to move quietly and slowly in a threatening way. Vivid means bright or clear. Stripes means long, narrow pants. Rage means anger. Pads means soft part under the foot of the tiger. Second stanza, lurking means hiding. Sliding means moving, hole means pool, plump means chubby. Third stanza, snarling means to make an angry and warning sound. Bearing means showing. Fangs means two long sharp teeth at the front of the mouths of some animals. Terrorizing means frightening or threatening. To create fear. In the fourth stanza, concrete means concrete cell means a very small and unpleasant cage. In the fourth stanza, you'll find a word called stalking. And stalking means it is moving slowly and quietly in a in in among the threatening way okay fifth stanza you will find patrolling to go around an area at regular times to check that it is safe brilliant means very bright now let us understand some of the poetic devices which are used here in this poem. First is repetition. And what is a repetition? A repetition 
of words, phrases in the same line. For example, here, velvet, quite, quite rich used. Another one used brilliant eyes, brilliant stars. Brilliant eyes, brilliant stars. Okay. Now, next poetic device used is alliteration. Repetition of the initial consonant sounds in the same line is called repetition or alliteration. And here the examples of her alliterations are he stalks in his vivid stripes. Another one, but he is locked in a concrete cell. There is another poetic device used here, which is rhyme. The rhyme scheme for first, second, and the stanza, fifth stanza. Okay. The rhyme scheme for first, second, and fifth stanza is A B C B and the third and fifth stanza is A B C D. Okay, this is the rhyme scheme out here as used by poet Leslie Norris in his poem A, T A Tiger in the Zoo. Now let us discuss some of the important question in which a value-based question should be discussed. The first question is, describe the tiger in the, in the cage. 